Hello everybody and today I will be sharing with you one big tip on shooting rain. Now if you're fascinated by rain like me, most probably you would have tried taking photographs or maybe shoot some footage of rain. And if you tried that, most probably you'd have found out that rain doesn't quite show up that well on camera the way that you want it to. So it could be a very heavy downpour, but what you get on camera is just these hazy little streaks. It just doesn't look that spectacular on camera. The rain just doesn't quite show up. So these footage that uh, you're watching right now, these are all, sh all shot during a very, very heavy downpour. And as you can see, you can barely make out it's raining. It's, it just looks slightly hazier than usual. The rain just doesn't look that spectacular. Now recently I found out that the secret to getting droplets of water falling from the sky to show up nicely on camera is to backlight it. Now backlighting is a lighting technique whereby you place your light source behind your subject and you light from behind, either directly behind or from an angle. So backlighting the rain will cause the rain to show up with much, much more contrast. This technique will apply to both still photos and videos. So without further ado, let's jump into the demonstration. All right, so here the rock is our subject. Now it wasn't raining, so I had to create my own rain using a garden sprinkler. But here we can sort of tell it's raining, but the rain itself just doesn't show up really well on camera. Now no extra lighting has been applied to this scene, just all natural light. Now to backlight it, it's generally easier to do it during the night, and it looks better that way because the backlight is going to more prominent relative to the dark background during night. However, it is entirely possible to do it during the day as long as your lights are bright enough. But this is also the reason why a majority of rain scenes in Hollywood movies take place during the night. Now for demonstration purposes, let's jump to a night scene. Now this is the exact same scene except later at night. This one has not been backlit yet, this is just slightly frontlit with a single LED light panel towards the left of the camera. You can see the rain is still not quite showing up as we want it to, so let's go ahead and add a backlight. Ta-da! Now we can clearly see the bright streaks of rain as the backlight is creating strong highlights. This is based on the principle that a backlight just functions to separate foreground objects from the background, and there we have it. Nice rain showing up nicely on camera. So that is it my friends, this technique will work for both photos and videos. So go ahead and try it out next time it rains, and if it doesn't rain you can always create your own rain like I did. Now when you're shooting something like this, it's also very important as well to protect your equipment from splash damage if you don't have a weatherproof camera. A while ago I also made a video on uh, how to splash proof your camera using nothing but a garbage bag and a rubber band. I'll have the link to that video in the description below. And to protect my LED light panels from the rain, all I did was just wrap them in plastic bags and that was it. So that is it everybody. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, any comments, post them in the comment section below. Any suggestions, welcome as well. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching again and I will see you in the next video.